Okay, Alan Miles, aim and break, uh, chop up part two. Uh, this time we're going to use multiple outputs on the sampler. So that's what we achieved last time, little chop up. Now we're going to go into the mixer page, left click and hold on the EXS instrument and turn it into multiple outputs. This means we can route it out of uh, different aux channels to affect differently. Little plus sign appears, select plus a new aux with its input. Have a look at its inputs there. I like to color my instruments the same color. So we've got the main EXS and then EXS input three and four. So if we click on that EXS panel and then select the edit page, it takes you into the sampler edit page. And you can see the slices that are being triggered across the keyboard when you press play look. And I want to route one of those, that snare there, out of its out of a separate output and in the output section I'm going to put output three and four so all the rest are out the group which is the main output and the uh, the snare on its own goes to that channel look so it's just separate now if I select them both and then a new aux bus bus one Another new aux will appear. I'm going to put a delay on this one so we can have some fun with the delays on just that snare. I like to color my effects channels yellow. Insert a delay on that channel, tape delay, dub style. And we can select different settings in here, for example. And I can just send the snare to that effect now. It's not the whole drum loop, it's just that snare that I've rooted out of that output. So I can start to treat the slices as separate items. Have some fun with the effects. Once you go over about 54%, that tends to feed back forever. You've got a filter here so you can filter out different frequencies. All of this is automatable of course. And you can use the effect to create new sonic textures in your chop up. There you go, and then it's five o'clock in the morning before you realize it. So let's select another snare and put it out of a different output five and six. So we've got one out of three and four, and one is going to be out of five and six. Select a new aux channel for that snare by pressing the plus sign on your EXS instrument on the mixer page. Set up your auxes. I've got a new aux here. I'm going to put a reverb, a spring, spring reverb on that aux. Set up these bus sends. One is going to the delay, and then select them all. Two is going to go to that new aux. On that aux, I'm going to insert a reverb. Name it as you go. Color them as you go. Keeps your tr tracks nice and tidy. Space Designer, Large Space Spring Reverb. And now this snare I could have out of um, its own slice as well. It's not being triggered uh, in the uh, piano roll at the moment, that one snare. So let's go and find it. What one is it? The third slice. So let's put that on slice three. Yep, and that slice will now be coming out of that aux I've set up.
Egal. So that one's the snare. But anything can use that um, effect now. Nice way to set up your effects on buses. I've got one delay and one reverb that all the channels can take advantage of. You can send the tape delay to the reverb. And you can send the reverb to the tape delays. But be careful! Watch, be careful doing this. Because you've got the delay sending to the reverb, and the reverb sending back to the delay. So you'll get a feedback loop. Can create a nice effect, but be careful because it'll feed back forever. And there you go, so that's chopping up an aim and break with multiple outputs using a tape delay and a reverb to create some interesting sonic texture. There you go, Alan Miles here, see you later.